No, I'll tell you what war is about. You have to kill people. And when you've killed enough, they stop fighting. We were reaching into the unknown, and we didn't know what might come of it. It can safely be said that most of those present, Christian, Jew, and atheist, were praying, and praying harder than they had ever prayed before. Everyone sensed, this is it. It was almost full grown at birth. It was a great new force, to be used for good or for evil. I think we all think we know what Hiroshima is. When you hear the word, there are certain images that immediately come to mind. The handheld footage from the Enola Gay, um, seeing the mushroom cloud rising over the city. Those images are in our minds, and I think Hiroshima sums those up very, very quickly. You can look at the footage and feel that you know something, but I think, in fact, there's a lot that people don't understand. There's a lot that they've never been exposed to. We approached Hiroshima uh, from the starting point of the science. What is an atomic bomb? How does it work? What's its effect? But you can't just tell the science of the bomb. You have to tell the politics, the history, and the human impact. So right in the middle of our film, there is a detailed visual description of the explosion of the bomb and its impact on the city. In a sense, the, the film moves out from the explosion and tries to give, give you a sense of where it came from and what its effect was, the kind of the ripples afterwards and the, the different stages of preparation before. What we're trying to do with this film is to combine a number of approaches to tell the story as fully as we can. We've interviewed key participants, surviving members of the air crew, including the pilot Paul Tibbetts, and we've interviewed a range of survivors in Hiroshima. We've taken their testimony and tried to build a script from, from what they describe, which we can then bring to life. using dramatization and computer graphics gives you the freedom to get at those moments that weren't filmed because it changes your understanding of the bomb it changes the understanding of the event itself to see what people lived through on the day and to feel it with them it's a film that couldn't have been made in the past and won't be able to be made in the future. <laughs> <laughs>